welcome back to my channel. Today marks one year from the day that we lost our beloved mayor, Stella. And today I wanted to share her story in a way that I've never shared it before. And I wanted to talk about how we lost her and how her death seems so senseless and preventable to me now. If I knew then what I know now, I feel in my heart that her death could have been prevented. So I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about the past history of Stella, and then I'm gonna share with you what happened on that fateful day that we lost her, and why I think it could have been prevented. For any of you guys who don't know us, we started this channel a few years ago. I had two young daughters who were heavily into horse riding, and through the love of a horse that I met at their riding school, I ended up becoming interested in horses as well. Horses have been such a big journey for us. We've shared it as a family, mother and daughters riding together, my dream. So when we started out this whole huge journey, we were on our quest to find our very first horse. And after almost a year of our first lease horse, we bit the bullet and we bought our oldest daughter a, a horse for her birthday. Um, very quickly, we realized we needed another horse for our second daughter and we started the search. We found Stella four hours away from our home. I had dreamed that we were gonna get a paint, a black and white paint, and sure enough, we went to look at this horse and she was a black and white paint. She was in a field, grass this high, eating her way to heaven. She was obese. To say she was obese is an understatement. Stella had just had her toes chopped off by the farrier the day before we arrived. Um, I suspect that she was in the process of a founder flare or just beginning to founder. She was a little ouchy. We sent messages to our farrier, to our vet, because this horse had the kindest eye, the softest spirit, and I wanted her. I felt God pulling me in a way that made me feel like we were meant to buy her. So after our farrier and our vet assured us that we could work with the, with the pictures that we sent him of this mare, we brought her home. One week later, she came to our barn and we loved her from the moment she arrived. We loved her and she treated us amazing. Over the course of the next year, uh, we did have some issues. We moved her to another barn. She wasn't quite happy there. It was a bigger place for her. She got really spooky. She threw all of us. It just was a bad situation. So our vet told us, if you wanna save this mare, then you need to take her home. And let me tell you, this is the second time that we've had to save this mare. The first time when we went to visit her, we beat the meat guy by one day. Stella, our beloved Stella, was headed to the meat market if we didn't buy her. And then again, when we had to choose to bring her home to our little small farm and keep her here to help get her weight under control, it was the second time that we saved her. We brought her home and it was the most joyous time in our lives we got to form a relationship with Stella that we've never ever had with a horse before we had her at home with us it was such a different emotion it was such a different experience to boarding a horse we were responsible for her every need and we did all the stuff you guys we got her weight under control we gave her supplement after supplement to help her in every issue that she had we had the vet here we did her teeth we did all the things that you would do when you buy a horse and you bring it home, a beloved horse that you plan to keep forever. We took her camping with us. We took her on trail rides. We took her up and down the road. We took her for walks by hand on days that it was so cold that we couldn't do anything else with her. We just wanted her to feel our love. And man, did we feel her love. We did all those things, but sadly, they weren't enough. They weren't enough to save Stella a third time. So we had Stella a year and a half and sadly one day, sadly almost a week before Christmas we were just finished homeschool and we decided to watch a Christmas movie as a, as a, as a reward for being the last day of school, the last day that we were going to do any kind of school work and we sat down on the couch with our back to the window and we started to watch a Christmas movie. And 50 feet from the back of my head were our horses out in the field. I had such an uneasy feeling that day. I felt worried. I felt nervous. The whole entire time we were watching the movie, I felt nervous and I kept saying, we need to go down and feed the girls. We have three horses now. We had three mares at the time at home with us. And I, 
can say as soon as this movie is over, we are going down to feed them. We feed breakfast, lunch, and supper. So um, always in the middle of the day. But I just had this uneasy feeling and I wanted to go down and I wanted to just check on them. And I kept saying, okay, as soon as this is over, this movie is over, we're going to go and check on them. And I kept looking out the window, turning all the way around and looking out the window to make sure that I could see them. And I saw them running and I saw them playing. And it was a snowy, brisk, really cold day. And so I turned back and I started watching the movie again and I heard a commotion and as I heard the commotion I knew, I, I just knew. We all suspect that Stella ran into the fence by accident and got a shock and that it scared her and what happened after was a series of unfortunate events. This time, we were not able to save Stella. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Stella died from a freak accident that day and it was a day that changed our horse journey in a way that nothing else had. Gone were the days that we believed that love was enough, that care was enough, that just making sure they had everything they needed was enough. It wasn't enough for Stella that day and ever since then I have I have had this uneasy feeling in the pit of my stomach knowing that if I had just gone out to feed them lunch 10 minutes before, Stella would still be here. If I had just turned around three minutes before, Stella would still be here. If I had just paid attention to my gut feeling that was sending signals to my brain a million times a minute, and instead of watching that movie with the girls, Stella would still be here. I have so much guilt about that day, fear that it could happen again. A freak accident is something that you never can predict. We miss Stella so much. We miss her every single day. I often wonder what life would be like if we still had Stella. Where we would be and how far we would have gotten. So the reason I wanted to make this video is because it is exactly a year since Stella died. I want us all to remember that she was there. I want her to know that we don't forget, even though we've moved on and I got another horse. I want to put it out there that we still love her. After Stella died, I started to think about how so many things can go wrong with horses. You guys know you can't bubble wrap them, but they get hurt out in the field. They get hurt in a stall. Like you just, you're standing beside them, walking them one minute, and then the next minute they're like, hurt like horses get hurt so easily they colic over everything they just anything that can go wrong goes wrong with horses horses are so fragile they're so big and healthy and strong but they have a knack for hurting themselves and I started to go on the lookout for what I could do to protect our horses and to keep our horses safe 
every single day I hear stories of friends' horses colicking or friends' horses getting free and going missing or friends' horses getting out on a trail and getting and dumping the rider and getting free and, and disastrous things happening. There are just so many times where I wish that I could be a fly on the wall watching my horse every single second. A couple of months ago, I got another horse. It's a mare and she looks very similar to my Stella and I started to feel the panic of Stella's passing again and I wanted to really look into what could we do to keep her safe keep her safer to prevent what happened to Stella from happening again. And that is when I found Nightwatch. For any of you guys who don't know, Nightwatch was created by two guys exactly like me, exactly like you, Jeffrey Scab and Wade Giles. They owned a gelding named Snoop and he was eight years old and he died in his stall alone. He died of a rare colic overnight in his stall all alone. The people where he was boarded, sleeping in their house not far from the barn. His owners not having any idea that he was in distress in his stall. And he died. They went down in the morning and he had died. And he, like Stella, was a beloved horse. And you all know, any of you guys who have lost a horse know the devastation. Or any of you guys who, who have woken up and gone down to do chores in the morning and have found your horse cut from a, a hay feeder or stuck in a hay feeder, any of you guys who've gone down in the morning and found disastrous things awaiting you know the feeling of helplessness that you get when you feel like you were just so close. If only I had known I could have saved my horse, I could have prevented that. So the death of Snoop was the inspiration for them to create this smart halter. I know many of you guys are familiar with the technology behind the smart halter, but it is designed to make senseless deaths like Stella's and like Snoop's and so many other horses, so many other beloved horses. It's designed to make their deaths, their senseless deaths preventable. Nightwatch can alert you at the first signs of distress in your high risk horse, your pregnant mare, a performance horse and you can be there when they need you the most. You can use Nightwatch to tailor your horse's daily training based upon their overnight activity and general well-being. This halter can share objective biometric and behavior insight that you can then share with your care team for more informed decision making. Nightwatch can help you take care of your senior horse and those with chronic conditions of concern such as cribbing, wind sucking, or weaving. This halter offers the opportunity to be alerted prior to an injury. This halter will tell you when your horse is struggling. The smart halt this smart halter is an equine distress and wellness monitor that might just save your horse's life. I am so grateful to have my night watch smart halter. I think back to all the times that I could have used this in the past. Our trainer had a foal last year. Some of you guys watched the birth of this foal on on her channel. This beautiful filly was born in the pouring rain in a big huge mud puddle outside and it all could have been prevented if she had been aware that the horse was in labor. She went first thing in the morning to check on her mare and there were no signs. She did not look like she was going into labor. She did not look like she was in labor. Our trainer had to go to work that day. She left and a couple, within two hours, she got the message that something was happening in the field and she ran to be with her, but it was too late. The baby was already coming out and she was born right there in the pouring rain in a big, huge mud puddle and it could have been avoided. If I had had this night watch halter at the time, I would have been able to lend it to her and it would have alerted her that her horse's heart rate had changed, that her, respira that her respirations had changed, that her horse was likely in labor. It would have given her, it would have sent alerts to her phone, alerting her and telling her that there were these changes happening within her mare that she was unable to see and she would have been there for the birth. She would have been able to keep her horse inside in a beautiful, bedded stall where the foal could have been born happily and peacefully. Everything turned out okay, but if I had had this night watch halter, I could have lent it to her and read that people say that it is so beneficial to have one, especially if you have like a big show barn or just to have one halter in the barn. You can use it on multiple horses at different times. Um, just knowing that you have this technology at your fingertips to help prevent another senseless tragedy is so 
is so worth it. I'm grateful to have my night watch smart halter and I just wanted to share that with you. I wanted to share it with you and how Stella's passing has pushed us to go out there and learn more and do more and be better for our future horses. As people, we always want to do what we can to keep our animals safe and having my night watch smart halter here I really do feel like it gives me the peace of mind that I didn't have when we lost Stella. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a very, very Merry Christmas and I hope all your horses are healthy and happy and that you get everything you asked Santa for. See you in the next video.